So Sarah, this is the last question and it actually um, connects with what you were just sharing. And the question is from Denise and it's how to be connected to the real nature of everything and everyone, not the ego attached to it. So the only way we can be connected to the true nature of our self, of everyone and everything, is to be truly present in the now. If you are completely present in the now, you cannot be subjecting life to your stories. Your ego cannot be directing the show. Even briefly, for the few moments that you just sit deeply in this moment, there's a calm, there's a quiet. The ego isn't driving the show. You don't lose awareness. You, st you still have a recognition of what's happening, but it's not ego-oriented. So actually, the more deeply we reconnect with the now and we can immerse ourselves deeply in this living moment, consciously, the more we experience it as it truly is, we tap into that wellspring of love that I spoke of before, that actually, you know, the love of consciousness of life, it's all, ar all around us to inform us, to nurture us. And where there is love, the ego isn't present. Where there is consciousness, the ego isn't present. It may be there in the background, waiting, <laughs> but in the moment that you're fully engaged in the now, it's just on the shelf, you know, it's kind of just sitting back. So the key is to continually exercise being present in the now. The key is to engage with awareness as deeply as possible with just what's happening here in this moment. So it's not about us waiting for some miraculous arrival in some other place. It's about us recognizing the miracle that's always here. And that is just purely awareness is here. And that pure awareness is having its true communion with everything. It doesn't go away. And you know what? The wonderful news is consciousness is your eternal self. It is the one that continues. The ego is the one that dies. How good is that news? <laughs>